Hello there, welcome back to my bench once again, Hugh here. And today in this tutorial I'm going to tie you up a stonefly imitation. It's a very simple imitation, it's called the uh, sofa pillow. You've probably heard of it before, seen it in books. So I decided to give this guy a go for you today. So we'll get this guy out of the vise and I'll get a fresh hook in and get going for you. The hook we're using is a Mustad 9672. And I'm tying on a size 8 here today, so we'll get that locked in the vise. Just like so here, there we go. And the thread today is Danville 6 aught Flymaster in a brown. So what we want to do first is start our thread about, I'd say about 3 eye lengths behind the eye here. You want to leave some space for your hackle. And we'll wrap that back to about the barb. Just work that thread back. Just like so here. Snip off that tag end. Okay, just wrap back a little bit farther here. Okay, that's fine. Now the tail on this guy is going to be some red goose quill seg and we just want one segment out of it for the tail. And for the tail on this one, it's a little bit longer than you'd usually put in. This tail you want it about two hook gap lengths, not just one. So we'll tie that in right on top. We'll come up with a pinch loop here and tie that in. Just like so. There we go. And make a wrap. Now what we want to do is trim that excess off to about where we start our thread here. We want our body to end. And we're going to bind that all down with thread. Reason being we want it smooth on our body because of the this body is going to be red floss and you want to keep it as smooth as possible underneath so you don't get too many bumps so we'll tie that in right there okay so there's our tail next our body so I have a length of red floss here about six or seven inches long here some red floss and we'll take that and we're going to tie that in right on top here just like so and we'll pull that length to length here till we get it even, like so. Now you want to wrap that right on top. Keep it on top of the shank and go back to just in front of your tail. Just leave a little bit of space in front of the tail. Stop there. Then come back and try to smooth it out with your thread. Just keep it nice and smooth as possible. As long as you don't get any bumps in it, it's the main thing. And we'll stop our thread right there. Okay, and at this point I'm going to tie in a half hitch. Just like so here. There we go. So I'm going to use my uh, rotary to wrap the floss. So I'll bring that bobbin cradle around. Okay, now before we get going here, a little tip with floss is just, before you wrap it, just take your fingers and stroke it and try to smooth it out. It sort of flattens it out so it makes it uh, wrap a little bit easier. So I like to take the first wrap or two by hand is what I like to do just so I get it placed where I want it. Just like so there. Okay, we will bring that up around. Okay, I'm just going to check the other side. That looks pretty good there. Okay, so we're going to begin to wrap that. Just like so, until we get to our tie off point. And of course, if you don't have a rotary vise, just wrap it as you normally would by hand. One wrap right in front of the next. I'm going to bring this up till we get to our tie off point, which is right about there. Okay, move that cradle out of the way. Okay, bring my thread back up. I'm going to come underneath, tie that off, a couple wraps, and we're going to wrap forward on it a few times. Then I'm going to come in and snip that off, the excess, nice and close, and a few more securing wraps, just like so. Okay, there we have it. Next is our wing, and our wing is red squirrel tail. I've got some in the stacker here, and I'm just going to tap it up even. So we get our tips even. And I'll take that out of the stacker, like so. Oh, a couple more taps, it looks like. Not quite where I want it. Okay. 
Okay, we got our ends even, so we're going to pull those out. Just like so. Take any errant fibers out of the way here. If you've got any broken off ends or anything. Now, the wing, I want that to come back about even with the tail, so I'm going to measure that up. Then I'm going to switch hands, and I'm going to snip that off about where I want it. Right there, like so. Nice and flush. But before I tie it in, what I like to always do with hair wings, streamers, is take a little bit of cement and just put a little drop right in the butt ends before I tie it down. Just like so. Okay, we're going to place that right on top. Come around with a soft loop. Come down between your fingers, pinch it. Just like so. Hold that wing up, just take soft wraps going back first. And that'll keep that right on top for you. Just check it. That looks good. Now when you come forward, that's when you want to put pressure on your wraps. Bind that down really nice and tight. And that cement there, once that hardens, that'll make that nice and durable. Just like so. There we go. Okay. A few stray fibers there. Okay, there's our wing and our tail and our body. And all that's left to do is wrap our front hackle. And for that, it's a brown saddle hackle. I have one prepared here. You got the bottom fiber stripped off. We want to tie that with the doll side facing back. And I'm going to tie that right in front of the wing. Just like so. So our first wrap falls right in front of our wings where you want it. Just like so. And we're going to take that quill and wrap that right on top. And we'll come back on that. Just like so. Bind that down nice and good. And try to keep a smooth, even uh, thread wraps here to wrap your hackle. Your hackle will wrap on much much easier that way. Try not to get any bumps there. Just like so. Okay. A few fibers there. Now, also before I wrap that hackle, I'm going to take a little, another little drop of hit cement and put on those thread wraps right there. Let that soak in a little bit. Just like so. Okay. Now, all we got left to do is wrap our hackle here. So we'll take our hackle, try to get our first wrap right in front of the wing as best you can here, just like so. Okay, and just keep wrapping forward. One wrap right in front of the next, that looks good. Okay, just like so. And just keep wrapping forward. There we go. Looks good so far. Now I'm just getting a little short here, so I'm going to grab my hack of pliers, hook on. Just like so. Okay, I'm going to try to hit a little more. I'm going to get one more wrap on this guy before I tie him off here. We'll come up. Okay, I'm going to make a couple wraps behind that. And a couple in front. Wrap back on it a little bit. And reach in with my scissors and snip that tip off. Just like so. Okay. Now next step, I want to make a few wraps, securing wraps. Make sure the tip's tied in good. Just like so here. Okay, all that's left to do is I'm going to bring in my my half hitch tool. i do a couple half hitches before I do it finish on this guy. Just one. And another. Okay. Bring in my whip finisher. Do a four to five turn whip finish and he'll be a done deal. Just try not to trap any of your hackle fibers down. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, and we'll throw in a couple extras here. Okay. 
There we go. Snug it down good. I'm going to come in and snip off the excess here. There we go. Okay, he's a done deal. Another size 8 sofa pillow. Stonefly imitation. Now I'll just take some more hit cement, put on those thread wraps, just cover those good. On the bottom as well, let that soak in. And there we have it. A very simple stonefly imitation. It imitates the larger stonefly species, of course, as you can see. So not a hard fly to tie at all. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial once again. And I want to thank you very much for watching, as always. And I hope you get a chance and have the materials and can tie this guy up and give him a try. Let's see if I can get a little close up here without screwing the focus up for you. So you can see him a little better here. Well, it's a little too much. Back it off a little. There we go. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you're a new viewer and you are the first time watching, if you'd like to see more videos in the future, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that a lot. And throw in a like too if you wish. So until next time, happy tying everyone. I'll see you again soon. And so long for now, folks.